Welcome to this special presentation by Springfield Public Schools District 186, recognizing the Springfield High School Class of 2020. Without further ado, please rise for the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the At this time, we would like to take a moment to recognize all of our students who are planning to enter the United States Armed Forces. Thank you to all who are serving and have served our country. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephen Busher, the 2020 Senior Class President. Let me start you out with our class motto. To be as much as we can, we must dream of being more. If we live as we should, our yesterdays will be dreams of happiness and our tomorrows will be visions of hope. At this critical point in our lives, it seems as if our yesterdays were dreams of happiness that we so badly wish we could return to. But for now, we must turn to those visions of hope and take advantage of these unfortunate circumstances that none of us were ready for. But hey, look on the bright side. Soon this will all pass over and we will be off to college, the military, or beginning our journey in the workforce. I know each and every one of us has a plan or a dream, and I believe we can all achieve it. I mean, why not? We've made it this far. Four years to seem to, have, seem to have gone by so fast when it seems that just yesterday we're all sitting around the football field for the fourth time because of another bomb threat. Or when Devin won freshman class president and left you off for Florida so you never got your hot Cheetos. Or when Jerry had a turtle in his pocket all day. Yeah, good times. I'm going to miss dancing on the front lawn in our togas around Aaron dropping to the ground as we all go crazy or running out before home games in front of the best student section there is around. Or partying like it's 1999 back to back and even winning the Spirit Award back. Class of 2020 definitely has that perfect vision. You knew I had to say it. One of the most diverse classes filled with Illinois State Scholars, Student of the Year finalists, partially going to an Ivy League, featured doctors, dentists, and engineers. Not to mention our athletes that have committed to play at the next level and the ones who are devoting their time to serve our country. You name it, we have it. We plan on holding one of the best proms the school has ever seen after raising almost $10,000 for our class, and we plan on doing something with that for our seniors once some of these restrictions are lifted. If you have not seen it yet, Kaylee Wobig produced an amazing video highlighting some of the good times we have held here together at Springfield High School. You can go check it out on the Springfield High homepage. Thank you all for the past four spectacular years together as I would not have wanted them to be with anyone else. I want you all to keep in mind the positive vibes Kramer instilled in us, the problem solving of Mr. Hull and Mr. Atkins, Telger's ability to hold a laugh and, skill, and the skills Taft and Negley taught us, and of course, make each day the best day ever. Thank you. Good evening, fellow students, teachers, faculty, parents, and everyone who is watching. I am the Springfield High's Class of 2020 valedictorian, and it is my honor to speak before you today. I've spent a lot of time at home recently, and with nothing to do but be with my family, I've realized what being a family really means. It means unconditional love, even at one's worst or best. Family is always there for you, 
no matter how far away or how long it's been. I'm lucky enough to have two families, one through blood and the other through experiences. While the class of 2020 may not be a family by blood, the experiences we have undergone these past four years create a bond and love for each other greater than even blood. Memories constitute a large, a large portion of a person's identity. And with so many shared memories, it's no wonder I feel as close to the class as a family. You don't complain about having a stats test during city without becoming closer, or stumble around the second floor bathroom while trying to rage in honor of Juice World without feeling some connection. Screaming to your head pounds to win the Spirit Award, storming the field after beating Griffin twice, wearing the most ridiculous outfits you can think of, all in the name of Spirit, hoping for no school after a bomb threat, and so much more are just a portion of the memories we all share. These memories will forever be a part of who I am, of who we all are. For as long as we can remember, those shared experiences will connect us. But it's not just the memories that make us a family. It's the fact that we all love each other and support each other, no matter if it's our best or worst. The fact that I had friends when I came to school wearing salmon red shorts and a neon green shirt, yeah, it, it did happen, truly shows just how much unconditional love we have for each other. The class of 2020 is a typical family. We act like we hate each other sometimes, most of the time. But through all of that is the simple fact that we wish the best for everyone. And I think it's clear that on the rare occasions that we do come together, we do it best. Whether that be spirit, sports, dances, or parties, no one can say we don't put on a good show. And most of all, I'm immensely proud of this family for all that we have accomplished. We have an Ivy a D1 sports player, full ride recipients, perfect GPAs, high test scores, and more. Not only have we accomplished a lot individually, but together as a class as well. All year we heard how we were the worst class, from other classes, teachers, and even those among us. Yet we proved them wrong. We brought the Spirit Award back home, be SHG for the second year in a row, and much, much more. I know we will continue to prove everyone wrong in everything we do in the future. These last four years, I've gotten to know most of you, and I've heard your dreams and aspirations. I know that the class of 2020 has unlimited potential and such a perfect blend of qualities that just being a part of a family with you makes me want to work to be better. I'm excited to see where the future takes everyone, and I'm even more excited for the chance to one day catch up and reminisce. While it's scary to leave my family, and it might be a long time before I see some of you again, I know that we will always be together. Just like a family, it doesn't matter how far away or how long it's been, all of us will be there for each other when we need it. We will forever be connected. I want you all to know that if we ever need something, all we have to do is ask one another. Because family never gives up on each other, and I refuse to let distance, time, or even a virus stop me from caring about this family. No matter if we are six feet apart or 6,000 miles away, we will forever be family. I read somewhere that I should leave you all with some of the lessons I've learned throughout these past four years. So here's my personal list of five. Number one, Chicken Shack is the prime example of don't judge a book by its cover. You should ask for the lemon pepper rub. Number two, Seven Brothers have the best snacks. You really can't get them anywhere else. Number three, laughing during Mr. Reed's notes is a guaranteed death wish. Number four, minus ones add up very, very quickly. And what got me through all of high school, number five, Stretching and getting tissues are the best way to relieve stress during tests. Last but not least, I would like to take a second to sincerely thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. Without the support and belief of my friends, family, faculty, and everyone else I've encountered on this wonderful journey, I would never have had the opportunity to speak before you all today. 
My mom and dad have challenged me to be the best version of myself. My friends were there to support me and reassure me. And the faculty has always been there, encouraging me and giving me the opportunity to prove myself. For all of this, I am eternally grateful. And I hope I can continue to make you all proud and recognize you all fully for your role in my success. 2-0 for life. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some.
And let's not forget, they beat the school down the street for the second year in a row. And let's not forget about all the clubs, foreign language, show choir, student council, conspiracy club, donut club, and lettuce club. How cool is a school that not only allows such diversity, but encourages a lettuce eating competition? That's <laughs> been 664 days of this school. Well, almost all of us have. There are a few who probably put in more like 364 days. You know who you are. But there isn't one of us who would fight for the chance to have one more day together. I wouldn't even mind Cotton yelling minus one at me at this point. I'd gladly take the deduction. Of course, there's the days that we all remember, the ones that stand out in our minds. Like the bomb threats and standing outside in the Arctic chill in the dead of winter, wearing a skirt. Not a good wardrobe choice. And let's not forget the fire drills and the worst blizzard conditions Springfield has ever seen. And of course, we will have the experience of being wanted every day before school for a week, just like at an airport. In total, we had nine dances that we were fortunate enough to be able to attend and share that time together. We followed our path, not the norm, and had our own concert at Sadie's. Through it all, we take pride in being a senator, like Mr. Ward takes pride in being a blues fan. And our class spirit and drive can only be compared to Mr. Telger and his cheerful, rambunctious personality. We've shared great times together, and we will have those memories for a lifetime. But let's take a moment to reflect on how we got here. We were born at a time when America stood still. 9-11 changed everyone's lives, and yet it is where our lives began. Triumphed over time, and the world became a more cautious place to live. We, we have been fortunate, and our lives at SHS have been rewarding. Yet now we are faced with adversity, graduating at a time that is almost unthinkable, a pandemic, the coronavirus. Sure, we say about these things in school, but only thought of them as a sick horror film plot. It's surreal to think how quickly our lives changed, and how in an instant, we went from normal teenagers hanging out with friends and going to school in a real classroom, to being held captive in our own homes, isolated from the outside world and our own friends. We believe that these hardships will only make us stronger adults. As Charles Dickens wrote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It's like he's describing us. Life will be full of highs and lows, but we are ready for it. We are born for it. We will not let these moments in time define us, but shape us. We will forge our own path forward, and it will be full of positive days ahead. As freshmen, we had a lot of room for growth coming into our first year at SHS. And it's pretty cool to see how far we have come as a class and how much we have grown as individuals. As seniors, we had our token day, chanting 2-0 whenever we had the chance. And of course, we will forever be known as the best looking class to walk the hall to Springfield High. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are all experiencing something new. Awkward Zoom calls and uncertainty of our final grades. One thing is for sure, we have learned a valuable lesson. Don't take anything for granted. Cherish the time you have with your friends and family. Make the most of your life and your relationships. Go forward without regret. Though this is not how we intended our senior year to come to a close, it is our moment. Our moment in time to look back and celebrate the years we have had together. Remember, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, and nothing is truer today. We will forever be remembered as the class with the longest summer break in history. <laughs> And though we didn't have that moment to say goodbye to everyone, this isn't a goodbye. It's more of a see you later. Congratulations, Elle. Congratulations, Carter. And, and congratulations, congratulations to the class, class of 2020. Of
Good evening, families, friends, staff, class of 2020, and anyone else who managed to catch this broadcast in the midst of their latest Netflix binge session. Today marks a rather strange graduation of Springfield High's class of 2020. As we continue to socially distance, most of us are likely experiencing a pretty melancholy moment. We're finally graduating high school, but we don't get to hug our friends and laugh with them as we do it. And we don't get the same experience of walking across the stage as our families embarrass us with cardboard cutouts and air horns. We don't get to hear the band play Pomp and Circumstance as we walk in the convention center. We don't get to hear Seven and Senators sing our beloved alma mater. We weren't able to experience many of the things that made senior year a senior year. And as much as we might have enjoyed a snow day earlier in the year on the day of a daunting test over beloved and Mrs. Taft's class, I know we would give anything to have those past two months back at school. But even though we only really experienced the first 75% of our school year, our class still managed to go above and beyond. We even broke a few records, like being by far the best class ever at procrastinating and going two years straight with zero bomb threats and continuing to beat the school down the street countless times. We took back the Spirit Award, made way too many bad 2020 vision jokes, and learned how to survive the last quarter of high school through online learning and Zoom calls. On the bright side, this quarantine has given us the chance to actually show up for school from our beds, because that's what we know you're doing when your video's off in a Zoom call. And quarantining has also given us a chance to reflect on our better days of high school, the days that will tell our loved ones about 10, 20, and 50 years into the future. In some cases, quarantining has also given us the chance to work on some aspect of ourselves. In my case, quarantining has given me the chance to play my guitar more and learn more music and listen to more music. And I found myself thinking of one question in particular. The great bassist Victor Wooten quotes his mother as asking, what does the world need with another good musician? It's truly a hard question to answer. What does the world need with me? Especially with music, it can be an intimidating question when you're constantly thinking of all the players who are so much more talented and more successful than you. But it's a question that doesn't just apply to music. What does the world need with another good doctor? What does the world need with another good computer scientist, another engineer? To paraphrase Mr. Wooten and to answer this question, my job is not just to play with other musicians. My job is to make them sound better. And I think that's what the world really needs with another good anything. Don't just play the music to make yourself sound great. Play the music to make your bandmates sound like you're the greatest ever. Don't just work your profession to serve yourself. Work your profession to make the others in that profession, in any profession, better. Thank you to all the teachers and faculty who have strived to make their students better. Not just better academically, but better as people. Just as many thanks ought to go out to the students who have helped make their peers better, whether it be our teammates pushing us to work harder athletically, or our friends helping us with a last minute library study session, or Mustafa and his life-saving quizlets, and his endless ability to be the nicest, most sincere person on the face of the planet. But in all of these examples, teachers and students alike, they're not just playing with the other musicians. They're working to make them better. Strive to not just play the music, lift other people up with it. On behalf of the class of 2020, thank you to everyone who has helped us become the people who we are today and to the people who will help shape us into our future selves. Thank you to the parents, grandparents, siblings, and countless other relatives and friends who have loved us along the way. As you sit watching this broadcast, take a moment for applause for everyone that has helped us along the way. We couldn't have done it without you. Congratulations to the class of 2020, who managed to endure a really tough fourth quarter and a really tough four years. Congratulations in advance to all of us for all of the great things in store for us. And if you ever find yourself wondering, what does the world need with me? Just look to make the people around you better and you'll rise up with them. Thank you. Good evening, Senators. I'm Principal Learney. Welcome to the last of the morning announcements you will hear in your high school career. Today is Saturday, May 30th. This is your 704th day of school. We've been together as a family for four years and we have about five minutes left until our seniors officially graduate from Springfield High School. We have about 300 graduates tonight so I can give you 300 reasons why today is the best day ever. Also in about five minutes, you won't remember anything I've said here, just like morning announcements, but I'm gonna keep on talking. And as much as I would have liked walking the halls of SHS with you again, it's time for you to go. Like your parents, we send you on your way, knowing that we've given you the best lessons that SHS had to offer. High school is over, your transcript is final, adult supervision is coming to an end. You may have plenty of regrets later in life, but earning your diploma isn't one of them. This is one thing you will never want to undo. Life's big accomplishments bring big responsibilities, and life's big changes bring big opportunities. You have the opportunity to step up and make decisions. 
I want you to always keep taking care of business just like you did in high school. How do you measure your success in high school? What do you remember most? Think about all of the highs and lows you had in high school. Multiply those moments by about a million. You're gonna get new memories. Things will get more intense for good and for bad, and you know what? You are going to figure it out. The class of 2020 faces some unique challenges like no other class, and you know what? You're going to figure it out. You tell yourself it's going to be okay and move on to the next decision. I want you to get out there and move. Move through work and college and find your advantage and be the best at it. There is honor in every job, big and small. Use your integrity and Senator pride to complete every task. Show up, be on time, be good to others, make a connection. There will be many days in life when you will be the one working the hardest and the longest. Embrace it, be that leader, find your place in work, Find a job that makes you want to get up in the morning and hurry to work where you want to write your own morning announcements. Lean on your education and find purpose in the problems. Life is unfair and will challenge all leaders, but your education at Springfield High has provided you with the tools for success. Working with you at Springfield High School has been both a privilege and a pleasure. I thank you for what you have given to Springfield High and I'm certain you left this building a better place than when you came in. The underclassmen know a better school because of your contribution and pride. Keep giving during your next four years and leave the places you go better than when you arrived. Carry on with your kindness. We need you. In closing, to the class of 2020, may the force be with you and may you always suffer from soul and fever. I'm so proud of you. You have nothing left to prove here. Now get out and show the world what I already know. Congratulations, Senators. Good evening. It is a great honor to be a part of this special and unique occasion. I have walked as superintendent alongside each of you during your high school experience, and for many of you, your entire school career in District 186. And now, through perhaps one of the most confusing and upsetting times of your journey. Parents, this is a time when you realize that the school of your schooling of your child has gone quickly. Feel the pride within you for your child's accomplishments and help them look to the future ahead. Each milestone is a symbol of your success as well. And although we are watching this momentous occasion in a format that is different than what we expected, please know that your positive support for what comes next will keep them moving forward. As I turn my message to the graduates, know that we are feeling our way through these challenging times. Yet my words today will not focus on what we have gone through the last few weeks, but on your futures. A British author, Arnold Tomby, once said, there is no such thing as a master key that will unlock all doors. I would like to add that unlocking the doors of your future comes within each of you and all of us working together. Each of you will open doors differently and that will make us stronger. You each have a range of talents. Graduating among us are individuals that will keep our economy moving forward. Individuals who have a big part in building our infrastructure. Individuals who will unlock medical mysteries. Those who will serve and protect and others who will create and provide for us all. And there will be many other influential impacts that come from these graduates that will make our lives much better. I recently read a book called Range by Daniel Epstein. Although it wasn't specifically about the field of education, it offers key insights into the art of teaching. He discussed a study that was conducted of multiple mathematics classrooms. The study revealed the differences between them were long. Some of the classes, the students sat in seats. Others were at whiteboards or in small groups. Some were energetically taught and others stoically lectured. Yet the similarities were narrow. There were two distinguishing things that existed in all of the classrooms. First, they all used procedures. They were practicing things that they had learned. Second, they all sought to make connections to a broader concept and then ask why this concept works to solve other problems. In other words, they were making real life connections. Now, some teachers continued to help the students by giving clues. 
They were knocking on the door for students and even opening the door a little bit as they were really struggling to solve the problems. Other teachers let students struggle completely on their own and grapple with the problem for a bit. They let the students make mistakes and get the problem wrong and supported them to rethink the problem and utilize the procedures to get the answer. Students getting clues and looking for shortcuts may help us get the answer quicker, and that's okay, but fast is not always better. Learning new concepts that will take you into your next endeavor will take time, but keep moving forward. Keep asking questions and applying all that you have learned to take on the challenges that you will face. My mom is a violinist. There are so many small parts and procedures that you must learn. There is no difference in learning how to program a computer, engineering, learning to style hair, or creating a work of art. There are steps that must be taken in order to learn. But in the end, when you learn these concepts and procedures, you realize that they all come together to make something beautiful. For instance, the violin is only one instrument in an orchestra, and when all of the instruments come together, they create beautiful sounds. Or the team whose individuals know their own roles, but can come together to create one optimal performance. Procedures are a part of learning, but connecting them to the larger good is what yields true learning. Learning that is durable, that sticks, that can be flexible and applied in many ways. Seek out what Epstein calls desirable difficulties. These are obstacles that make learning more challenging. Even if they are slower and more frustrating in the short term, don't be afraid of them. I also challenge you to tolerate your mistakes. You will make them, as do I, but you need to turn them in to learning opportunities. Something we have learned in the past few weeks is that when you face the unexpected, you need to have a range of available tools to help you be the best at something new. When the stock market, market fluctuates, brokers need a mixture of strategies to overcome them. When the construction site has something go wrong, multiple contractors with varied backgrounds may be called upon. And when a medical mystery makes its way into our world, we need a variety of data information, different types of medical professionals, and a variety of tools to solve the problem. Draw on your range of talents to mold your future. Seek a range of new learning opportunities and experiences as you move forward. And you will move forward. Things will get better. The range of knowledge that you gain will be slow to acquire at times but that knowledge that you gain will allow you to match yourself to the right challenge that can unlock doors for you and for our world. Senators, set your path to take that soul and pride with you into the next steps of your life. You are looking forward to the best moments to come. I am truly sorry and even a bit heartbroken that things are different for you this year. But then again, you have added to your range of experience by persevering through these difficult times. I stand with each of you and offer you my best wishes. Dr. Liardi, as superintendent of schools, I certify that these students presented to me today have fulfilled the graduation requirements of the Springfield Public Schools, District 186, and the state of Illinois. I hereby accept the class of 2020 and recommend that they be awarded their diplomas. Congratulations. Laith Abdul. Matthew Abe Bell Morgan Adamski Aline Alderman Zachariah Alkabash
Jocelyn Allen. Vedant Amin. Grace Anders. Kaylin Anderson. Michael Anderson. Marcus Austin. Cheyenne Banks. Lucas Berea. Priscilla Bartelheim. Isaac Becker. Micaiah Bennett. Aaron Bentley. Caitlin Belinsky. Caleb Bloom. James Borlin Jr. Stephen Busher. Kyle Bowder. Madeline Bowen. Harris Bradley. Ethan Brady. Cadence Brenham. Wolf Brethorst. Maximilian Brinkley. Benjamin Brower. Samuel Brower. Joy Brown. Hayden Bolak. Jaden Burke. Nathan Burrington. Andre Burton Micaiah Burton Luke Butcher Ella Luze Grubb Keaqua Kane Ainsley Caps Emma Carter Liana Chung Jacqueline Clem Kaylee Clemens Spencer Cochran Elliot Hogan Haley Colburn William Collins Tapkin 
Aaliyah Conley. Xavier Cooper. Angel Coda. Jason Corville. Noah Covington. Haley Crisp. Joshua Kreitz. Braden Curtis. Terrence Cypress Jr. Andrew Davis. Noah Davis. Chloe Davlin. Monica De Leon. Chandler Dean. Jayton Damrat. Shay Doty. Trent Durazo. Dominic Edwards. Isaac English. Thomas Erickson. Sophia Eves. Braden Fafoglia. Kylie Fair. David Fannin. Aiden Fine. Brandon Fine. Miranda Flanagan. Madison Fletcher. Austin Floyd. Delasia Ford. Samuel Fornis. Sarah Foster. Jason Frazier. Jasmine Freeman. Cecilia Fulgenzi. Adrian Garcia Vasquez. Adam Garner. Catherine George. Adam Giordorno. Emily Glover. Trey Goodrich. Lily Goosens. Joshua Gordy.
Alexander Greco. Georgia Gregio. Michaela Griffin. Dominique Gross. Paige Grossen. Ankeith Guntapali. Richard Haley. Aaron Holloway. Ashanti Hansen. Molly Harms. Sydney Harney. Matthew Harris. Emily Hartman. Dylan Hendershot. Connor Henderson. Adrian Herrera. Brendan Higginson. Jemiah Hill. Thomas Hingle. Hani Hazam. Chelsea Hollinshead. Sydney Hollis. Stephen Holt. Lakeisha Hunaki. Morgan Hubbard. Madeline Humphreys. Ella Hurlbrink. Benjamin Houston. Zion Ikerianwu. Dorcas Isanja. Varsha Iyer. Callie Jack. Denijah Jackson. Malachi Jackson. Micah Jackson. Chloe Jarmer. Sarah Jasm. Benjamin Jones. Coriana Johnson. Max Johnson. Parker Johnson. Zion Johnson. Haveron Junkum.
Jaron Justin. Emily Keithley. Sophia Kell. Karen Kellis. Benjamin Kim. Bryant Kincaid. Adriana Cottrell. Anna Kropid. Jordan Cruz. Ella Kerman. Anna Lamsargis. Hunter Lee. Catriel Lima. Amanda Little. Diego Yosa. Jalen Logan. Noah Londrigan. Jaden Long. Alexa Lowe. Brecken Lyons. Destiny Macklin. Timothy Malit. Jada Manny. Tamara Manice. Nicholas Mars. Malaya Martin. Yasmin Martinez Powell. Mustafa Massad. Conrad Mayer. Sianna McGrown. Melanie McEwen. Emma McLean. Megan McLean. Madison McMullen. Aiden McParlin. Carter Mercier. Alexander Millard. Amy Miller. Colin Miller. Natalie Miller. Jack Milliman. Adam Milling. Alexis Mogul.
Devin Moore. Sydney Moore. Ladarius Moss. Ava Mulder. Ashley Myers. Michael Natty. Ketsia Nadalia. Alicia Newcomb. Lillian Noel. Michelle Noel. Alma Noriega. Delaney O'Brien. Maggie O'Brien. Maya Ojubile. Micaiah Okasali. Paige Oswald. Sabrina Paez. Tierra Pam. Gabriel Parsons. Priya Patel. Samuel Patterson. Joshua Perlman. Ethan Perry. Denasia Phillips. Livia Phillips Levin. Dechan Pippen. Viral Pithidia. Malaya Pittman. Michael Pulliam. Hillel Rabin. Miles Ralph. Daniel Ramirez. Jakaya Raymond. Patrick Reardon. Tiani Renfro James. Chudlin Reserva. Steve Russell. Hannah Rivera. Ayana Roberts. Rhiannon Roberts. Yaslin Rogers. Jacqueline Romer. Adrian Russo.
Joel Ryan. Joshua Salter. Ryan Sattler. Kennedy Shimmer Good. Keenan Shimmer Good. Braden Schmo. Noah Shadel. Allison Scott. Isabella Settles. Alexander Shanley. William Shaughnessy. Kaylee Sherell. Haley Shryock. Kylie Skirtich. Colby Slater. Michael Slua. Ethan Smith. Isaiah Smith. Carissa Smith. William Smith. Rogelio Solario. Ethan Somer. James South. Roy Spradlin Jr. Christopher Stevens. Daniel Stewart. Aaron Stickle. Jason Stigler Jr. Nicholas Strothman. Ayana Sullivan. Jack Tadla. Carter Tate. Andrew Taylor. Colin Taylor. Amy Thomas. Dylan Thomas. Brooke Thompson. Valentina Tony Jocelyn Townsend Javier Treadwell Audrey Tubbs Noah Turley Elizabeth Tuttle.
Destiny Marble. Seton Vaughn. Grace Vespa. Brooke Vincent. Damian Wagner. Peyton Waldron. Nicholas Wallace. Taryn Wallace. Avia Wang. Brandon Warmoth. James Watson. Taylor Weems. Aria Wells. Kendall West. Zachary Wheelhouse. Timothy White Huddleston. Grace Wilkins. Carmen Willett. Nadalia Willis. Miles Wilson. Natalia Wilson. Kaylee Wolbig. Alexis Wolin. Salome Wartman. Jalen Wright. David Yee. Mary Yaki. Paige Ziccarelli.
favorite memory from my time at SHS would be probably like most people city tournament, but specifically this year on the second night of city. This year's SHG football game when we played down the street at Griffin. Um, that's the first game that we walked out and we all held up our fours for Nick. We all just felt as one and we all felt united. It was just such a great time and such a great show of our school spirit. My first ever time being in the student section and cheering for the first time. The spirit days we had, um, I always loved to dress up in all my uh, costumes and especially the uh, spirit days at City Tournament. I think those were probably the best. Eating SHG and football both times because like my favorite sporting event all year hands down has to be the SHG football game. Football that beat SHG not once but two years in a row which is definitely something to celebrate and shout out to girls softball who also beat SHG for the first time in a long time. The feeling after winning against them never gets old. Senior soccer season this year with the soccer team and with Pat Phillips um, there was great coaching and the team just grew really close. It was a really good time. This year I had lunch um, in Taft's room almost every day. Something I will definitely miss about the class of 2020 is talking to some of you guys before school, at lunch, and even after school about all the things. Those times like I really got to bond um, with one of my best friends. It was one of the best parts of the day it was really coming to work and seeing you guys and talking to you. That is my favorite part about going to school every day. Your dedication, your commitment, your involvement, your spirit, all of those things are what make your class stand out. The hardest thing that I think our class has gone through, besides what we're going through now, would be that we've always kind of been the underdog. Being in isolation and not being able to see anyone is really tough. Not spending fourth quarter together. None of us are getting the graduation or prom or the end of the year that every senior is like always looks forward to. Not having to have the uh, end of the year type of senior things that uh, every other class has done. Missing out on opportunities and moments that we would have made in the end of our senior year. Not having our senior prom, graduation, our senior spring sports seasons. Because we won't have those things, this year is going to be so much more special and more memorable for us. From this we can learn never to take anything for granted. Just keep moving forward and um, look to the future. We're getting something that no one else did and we'll have to take advantage of these opportunities and hopefully come out on top of it. I think that this year we really had a chance to shine and I think we really proved ourselves. Well, COVID seems to be rampant around the world. You know what else is rampant in Springfield? Soul and fever for life. You don't get to escape that, my friends. Even though some of your greatest memories happened in this building, your best days remain ahead of you. On the other side of this, there are better times ahead and we're all going to move past this and do bigger and better things. Your names will always be remembered in the histories of Springfield High School because of the accomplishments you are yet to make. Your best days are ahead of you. I think we've grown a lot as a class over the past four years, but I think the main way that we've grown is our connectedness to each other. Look how far we've come. We've helped lead the section all year at all of the sporting events. We've definitely improved our school spirit. And we also, as a class, helped lead to win back our spirit award when a lot of people really doubted us. We've all really come together. It used to be a bunch of different little groups from all these different middle schools. And now we're all just really one big family. Our class has really grown together and I'm really grateful for how we did that. We've seen you guys grow from these small, excited, scared little freshmen to these accomplished and dedicated seniors. We're proud of the growth you have gone through. Your class has had all sorts of turmoil and conflict that you've had to go through all four years. And this is just one other example, yet you guys continue to succeed. What I love about our class is just all of the different people. We have so many different personalities, so many different talents. How hardworking, determined, and resilient we all are. Most of you stood up for what's right and you would stand up for each other, and you would tell others when something was wrong. Regardless of all our differences, we're still just one big family, and I love everybody in our class. You all have made my high school experience really fantastic. We have just a really good way of how we communicate with each other, and we all just really get along with each other. I don't know if I've ever seen a group top to bottom as connected as you guys are. 
and is caring for each other. I love how so many of us are just so hard working. I feel like in the future as a class, we are going to be extremely successful. I think the legacy of the class of 2020 will be our perseverance. I think we'll be remembered as the class that came through Springfield High and really changed the culture. We've gone through a lot as a class, but we always come out on the other side and we're better because of it. And I think that's what people will remember us by. We came in with some of the smartest people, some of the most athletic people, and we really go in places with it. I think we'll be remembered for like as the class that is so accomplished in so many ways, talented, smart, and athletic, and how overall we're all going to go on to do big things in the future. You guys have always tried to do things your own way, and as we sit here in the middle of a global pandemic, and you guys are officially Senior Skip Day champions, you guys have found another way to do it your own way. One thing is sure, you will never be forgotten. We are a group of amazing, talented, strong, creative, special people, and we can make it through anything, especially if we do it together. Don't get stuck in the past. I'm, don't be worried that we never had a prom or we never had a graduation. I mean, we're all really just starting our adult lives. We still have an entire lifetime to do tons of amazing things. Everything that is placed in our lives is something that we can handle. Like it wouldn't be in our lives if we couldn't overcome it. And so this is one of those things and we just have to remember to be strong during this time and that we have a whole new life waiting for us on the opposite side of this. There are better times ahead and all of our futures are so bright and we will get through this and go on to experience so much more. So don't worry, it can't last forever. Things will get better. Live in the moment because this is gonna be gone before you know it and you gotta make every moment last. Just remember to do things that make you happy, that make you who you are, who you want to be. And if you can count yourself happy and healthy and successful in your own right at the end of the day, then that's all that matters. Live in the moment and appreciate it while you can. Cherish every single second you have. You never take anything for granted. I think a lot of our time is spent worrying about things that have already happened or looking forward to things in the future, but those things don't always happen. So it's important to appreciate every day and find the special things in life. Because you never know when your last day, your last conversation or last moment could be with any of this. So just never take it for granted. I encourage you guys to concentrate on all the amazing accomplishments and, and, and memories you've established here at Springfield High School. But just know that this doesn't take anything away from our worth or how amazing and accomplished our classes. Some of the best memories you have in your life happen right here in these halls. Think about winning the Spirit Award, beating SHG in football, those big games that you went to, the choir concerts, the band concerts, club meetings, even that random Tuesday in math class that was so fun. Remember those moments because those are the things that will always live with you. Like Dr. Liardi would say, make every day the best day ever. The last thing I'd like to say is just Thank you to everyone in the class of 2020. You guys have made my high school experience fantastic and I've, I've loved seeing all of you every day. It's, it's been a real pleasure being around you guys for the last four years. I love you guys all so much. I'm really sad that our time together got cut short. I feel like we all kind of got a little bit closer and the walls between friend groups kind of fell and I'm excited to see where everyone ends up do things for you, make good choices, always keep that soul in fever. I just love all of you so much. I can't thank my classmates, my friends, my teachers, my coaches, and everyone else at Spring Good High enough for the amazing and unforgettable experiences I've had these past four years. I love the class of 2020 and everyone in it. I want to say thank you to the teachers and administrators and the rest of the students at Springfield High for giving us the best three and a half years of high school they could. Thank you all for everything. I will forever miss being a Springfield High Senator. Thank you Springfield High, I love you. Go class of 2020. I will never forget any of you, no matter what. Good luck. On behalf of me and everyone at Springfield High School, class of 2020, thank you and goodbye.
I'm Ben Houston. Stephen Busher. This is Ben Jones. Miles Ralph. I'm Mikhail Cosley. I'm Avia Wong. My name is Barsha Iyer. My name is Allison Scott, and this is the class of 2020. And this is the class of 2020. This is the class of 2020. This is the class of 2020. The class of 2020. The class of 2020. This is the class of 2020. This is the class of 2020.